Hawaii, Hawaii. What, 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 Maya? What's wrong? I heard it. I heard it. Kaylee is going to a trip to Hawaii. Oh my god, why didn't you invite me? Well, because our group of moms are going to Hawaii. You aren't in our group, right? Does it really matter that much whether I'm in it or not? Traveling together is more fun, right? That's why I'm going. No, even if you say it with that kind of look on your face, we'll be in trouble. Why? Why not? Take me with you! I mean, Maya. The other day, you forced yourself on our lunch meeting and left without paying. I'd like you to tell me that you'll pay it back first. What? But you said, if it's okay with you, how about going together? So, we only ate together. You're the one who asked me out, and yet now you're asking me to pay for it? Isn't that weird? No one said, I'll pay for it. You ate three times as much food as everyone else on the assumption that we were going to pay for you. Oh my god, insane? Not many people have as much common sense as I do. And then you catch them and call them insane? Aren't you a little crazy? I don't know what you're talking about. Anyway, we don't have any plans of going on this trip with you. You suck. Even though I said I want to go, I can't believe you rejected me like that. It's a violation of human rights. It's favoritism. Even if you say that, you're definitely not going to pay for the trip. But I happen to be planning on going to Hawaii, and I happen to be planning to meet you guys there. Huh? That's just a coincidence. You mean join us on our trip? I would never let that happen. It doesn't matter if you let me or not. Well, don't think you can get away with it. I've been told I have a persistent personality. No matter how much you reject me, I'm definitely going to make the trip, you know. I'm telling you not to do this. I'll decide if it sucks or not. Well, I'll join you on your trip anyway. Looking forward to it. I'm not going to let you do that. If you do that, I don't know what will happen to you. Kaylee! I've landed in Hawaii. I'll be waiting for you at the airport. I dropped my wallet on the way here, so please pay for my travel expenses. We just took off from the island. Hey, wait a minute. The plane that's flying now, could that be the one? We're getting further and further away. Wait for me! What are you doing? Because today was not the day of the trip? If I had told you that, you would have been the only one who'd be mistaken, and I figured you'd be left behind in Hawaii. Well, that means... You mean you lied about your travel dates to me? You suck. Why would you do that? Because you kept forcing yourself to travel with us. And even if I asked you to pay us back for the lunch money, you wouldn't do it. I just thought it had to be this painful. No, that's bad character. Do you enjoy doing things that intentionally hurt people? It's not like we were trying to hurt you. People who don't listen to you no matter how many times you tell them are a pain in the butt. What do you mean, pain in the butt? I just wanted to travel to Hawaii with you. I was only saying it, right? What's wrong with that? I'm sorry, you're the one who started all this. You don't want to travel on your own dime. You also lied about losing your wallet, didn't you? Ugh, I'm not lying. I really lost it. That's why I was talking to you about paying for it. If you didn't have your wallet, I think, normally you would just give up on the trip. Or ask for help from your husband. Of course, I don't want to do that. I mean, we're friends. So wouldn't the idea be to pay for me even if only temporarily? No way that's going to happen. I mean, if you're going to say that, can I have my lunch money back first? In the end, money, money. All you talk about is money. We're friends. Why can't we travel without talking about money for a minute? Well, let me tell you something. In the first place... Huh? Besides, you're not in our group. 
You've been in all kinds of mum groups. Keep doing what you're doing and not paying for it. You're famous for bashing from all sides, aren't you? They all want to get away from you. Hey, what's with the bashing? I didn't take that. I didn't take that. Because I don't want to spend my own money. I'm going to travel using your money. What's wrong with that? No, all I can say is it's 100% wrong. Shut up! You've got to be kidding me! I work my buns off to earn my part-time job. I'm the one who decides how I'm going to use it. There are benefits to you taking me along on the trip, so of course you have to pay for me. Why do you think that taking you along would be so valuable for us? I'm a mood maker, you know? Just my presence makes the trip even more enjoyable, doesn't it? If you mean in terms of ruining the mood of the trip, you're a mood maker in a bad way. Don't keep talking back to me like that. I mean, get the hell back here. I would be all alone. No, I'm already on the plane right now. You think we can just come back like this? Don't you know how an airplane works? Are you making fun of me? I've been looking forward to this trip. You don't have the right to take away people's fun. Get your butt back here. Huh? If you're talking about the right to take away people's fun, you don't have the right to it either. You're ruining my good mood. That's why we traveled without you. Don't be silly. If you keep this up, I'm going to... I just came to Hawaii. I'd look silly. You already are. Actually, if you insist so much, why don't you just enjoy Hawaii by yourself? This and that are a different story. If I think about enjoying it by myself, it's going to cost me money, right? I was supposed to be here for free. Enough. Cut the crap, you idiot. What? How long are you going to keep making selfish comments? If you think you can travel on someone else's dime, you're wrong. You never pay us back for lunch. On top of that, you even tried to have us pay for your travel expenses. That's why we left you out this time. It's a punishment, so to speak. Punishment for what you've done and what you're doing now. Punishment? Why are you doing this to me? Why should I be punished? Now, if you just remember how bad you've been behaving, I think you'll understand why. No, I don't know. Did I do something that bad? Not wanting to spend money? Isn't that what all we humans want? The entire human race? Again? What an exaggeration. Well, they certainly don't want to spend the money. I know it might make you feel better, but that doesn't mean you're spending other people's money. Huh? Why not? If I don't spend my own money, then I can't live without spending other people's money, right? Before you decide not to spend your own money, I want you to live your life not causing trouble for others. Why? We all generally make a living off of other people, don't we? I didn't mean like that, obviously. What I'm saying is it's wrong to maliciously inconvenience others. When have I ever maliciously inconvenienced you? Say it. I can't take it anymore. I'll argue right back. It's just so annoying now. Just stay in Hawaii for a while and don't come back. Wait, what a horrible thing to say. I told you I didn't have my wallet. That's a lie anyway, right? How much money did you have in your wallet? Uh, wait a minute. Yes, a hundred dollars. There's a hundred dollars in it. Hey, you just checked your wallet. So you're lying about losing your wallet. Uh, hey, that's not fair. I can't believe you led me on like that. I'm not trying to lead you on, but from my point of view, I already knew you're lying. I was just confirming that. Oh my god, you're driving me crazy. Why don't you always listen to what I say? All I know is I don't want to spend my own money. If you don't want to spend your own money that badly, then don't pay rent, don't pay for food, and live on nothing. But I doubt that we, as human beings, can really survive by doing such things. What the hell is wrong with you? You've been harassing me for a while now. You were the one who harassed me first, weren't you? 
No, I didn't. I just wanted to go to Hawaii. I've had enough of this. It was supposed to be a fun trip to Hawaii. But because of all the unnecessary things you say, my memories will be ruined. I hope they screw it up. What a memory of a trip you didn't invite me on. You know, even if you're pulling my leg, it doesn't make me happy, you know? I mean, I've always wondered. What? How are you going to come back with $100 in your pocket? What? I left my credit card at home. Doesn't that mean there is no way you can leave? Wait, wait, wait. Originally, I was going to use your money to go home. If only you guys would come back, this would be a problem solved. Like I said, we're already on a plane. There's no going back now, okay? No, 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 no. I can't come home then. That's troubling, isn't it? It doesn't really bother me. Tell me it does. Every day is boring without me. I'm the mood maker. Talking about mood makers again? I'm tired of talking about it, and you don't have to. Wait, please come pick me up. If this keeps up, I really won't be able to leave Hawaii. Well then, I guess you can't do anything but to kneel to your husband and ask him to pick you up. Girl, you gotta be kidding me. Why should I ask my husband to do that? There's no way I can do that, can I? Well, even if you say so, we're not interested in you anymore. I'm not going to offer you a helping hand, so... Don't say that! Hey! If I had asked my husband for a favor, of course he's going to ask what's going on. Then they might say I'm grounded and can never go out again. I think that's a good idea, even if you're grounded. That way you won't be bothering other people. No, I can't be grounded. Of course, it's stressful. Don't keep making excuses. Just come and get me. Huh? Excuses? You tried to get ahead of yourself to travel with other people's money. You're a silly girl. Why are you making excuses and talking selfishly to us? What? Wait a minute. I was hoping you would be sorry for this incident. Instead of feeling remorse, you only got upset. And then blaming us even more? I'm really angry. If you try anything with us from now on, I'll call the police as soon as I can. Huh? Police? That's a bit of a stretch. It's your fault. If you don't like it, I'll have your husband put you in isolation. I suggest you get on with your life and leave us out of it. Hey! Wait a minute! I don't want to do that! I thought I was going to enjoy my trip to Hawaii! Why do I have to go through this? Oh no... Later, Maya ended up calling her husband and asked him to come to Hawaii. I can't believe he went all the way to Hawaii. What a pretty good husband, I thought. Well, of course, he was quite angry. By order of her husband, it seems Maya will now be forbidden from getting involved with other moms. She's also forbidden from carrying her wallet. It also seems like a rule has been set up for going grocery shopping alone after work, etc. I heard that she gets frustrated every day because she couldn't even go shopping on a regular basis. Now that we don't have to feel anxious about Maya taking a flight of her own, we started to travel as much as we wanted. We do not want Maya to follow us on her own again. Hey, hey, have you thought about a trip to Kyoto? I can go with you, can I? I keep telling you I can't take you. No thanks. Why don't you listen to me even though I keep asking you over and over again? I would have turned you down time and time again, too. Why don't you understand? I want to go to Kyoto, too! Why don't you just go yourself? I can't! That's why I'm asking, right? What you're asking me for is really strange. What's so strange about it? Don't be mean to me. Your trip will be paid for by us. And while you're sightseeing, you'll have us to take care of your five little girls, right? This is crazy. This is no ordinary request. You don't have kids, so you have time, right? Please take care of them while I'm sightseeing. 
Just let me play around with it and I'll be fine. I'm not going to. Give it up. Anyway, I can't allow you to go on a trip to Kyoto alone. Even if you won't allow it? Hi, my name's Kennedy. I live with my husband. My son is an adult and now lives alone. From my son, I received tickets to a hot spring in Kyoto, so I traveled to Kyoto. I decided to go, but Layla wants me to take her with me, even though I keep saying no. She won't understand at all, so this is troublesome. I've never spoken to your husband, but I'm not shy, so don't worry. Besides, he likes kids, right? I can't be responsible for anything that happens to the kids. You have one son who is now an adult, right? Then aren't you a pro at parenting? You don't have to think so hard. You'll be absolutely fine. It's not okay. Please, let your relatives take care of them. I mean, I'm not even allowed to accompany them on trips. All my relatives are old-timers who grew up in the country, you know? Those people are annoying oldies who impose their values on you. I will not leave my precious daughters in the hands of an annoying old coot. Don't be so rude as to call them that. Anyway, take me on a trip. Take care of my daughters. I've said it many times, but I refuse. If you're going, you're on your own. It's late. I'm going to bed for the night. Good night. Oh, hey! I haven't heard a good answer yet. Layla, I have a question. What is it? Did you start the rumor? What rumors? Rumors that I'm bullying you? Oh, those rumors. It's not a rumor. It's just not true. Huh? You're not talking about wife bullying, but rumors of mommy bullying, right? Not true by any stretch of the imagination. It's not true. I've never meddled in your child rearing or looked down on you. I never did. I think you'll be 50 years old this year, right? Yeah, but... You're just another annoying old lady. Huh? Because you have an old-fashioned way of thinking, right? In your head, you've been looking down on me, haven't you? You meddled with the way I bring up my kids. I'm not looking down on you, and I'm not meddling. I felt that way, which is why I told the mom's club. I'm not paranoid. I didn't think it would spread that fast. Rumors are funny, aren't they? Please take it back. I don't want to. Why should the facts be undone? Not the facts, but your paranoia. I never said a word about that. Leaving my five kids with my relatives when I go on a trip is an old-fashioned way of thinking, right? Moms today will leave their kids with other moms and go on vacation, okay? That's only possible if we both agree to it, right? In our case, you're the one who kept pushing it, and then having me pay for the trip. Of course I would refuse. And now you're the bad guy. <laughs> if you want me to retract the rumor, do as I ask. Take me on a trip to Kyoto. No, I won't. I even went to the trouble of spreading rumors, but you're stubborn. Enough! I have the upper hand here, okay? How could I possibly comply? The demands are so messed up. You're the one who needs to give up on your trip to Kyoto. Don't go on a free ride on my trip. You and your husband should go and discuss it. I don't want to go on an expensive trip. Travel is indeed expensive. You, mama friend, should pay for it. You old people have pensions. You're the only one getting paid comfortably, so why not? I don't have a pension yet. I don't care, so just take me with you. Take care of my daughters. No, I won't. Give up. Enough! After that, Layla persistently asked me to take her on a trip to Kyoto. She kept making a huge fuss. I made my excuses, stopped the talk, and I took the time to retract the rumors, took a look at the conversation on WhatsApp, and I'm glad that my mom friends understood. I was exhausted and decided to go on a trip. Travel day. Ah, we're finally here! I had to get my daughters here, so I really had a hard time. Kennedy, take care of the rest. Huh? What are you talking about? What are you talking about? I'm not. I told you, while I'm sightseeing, you and your husband would take care of the babysitting. 
I made no such promises. I'm sure I said no over and over again. Sure, I got turned down. But if I keep forcing my way in, you won't be able to escape, you know? <laughs> huh? It means you can't run away from me. <laughs> I got there first with five kids at an inn in Kyoto. Huh? It was worth all the hard research and asking around this past week. This is the best way to make my hard work worthwhile. Thanks for your help. Well, I'm off to do some sightseeing after I pack my bags. Take care of my girls for me. I mean, where are they? Where? Well, first of all, I'm not in Kyoto. Huh? I'm in Tokyo. Well, to be precise, I mistook Kyoto for Tokyo. Oh, maybe it's because I'm getting old. How can you mistake Kyoto for Tokyo? You should have listened to me last week. Even I don't know how I could have made that mistake myself. <laughs> you tricked me, didn't you? As it turns out, I had you fooled. But I'm very happy with the results. Thank God we didn't meet up. I had to bring my daughters all the way here. Do you have any idea how much trouble I went through? Do you have any idea how much the trip cost? To be able to travel for free? It's really great that you did all that effort. I respect you in a way. You're sarcastic! You're the worst! Oh, even though I just gave you a compliment? How sad. I only brought enough money to get us to Kyoto! We can't go sightseeing like this! Please! Please let me go sightseeing in Kyoto! Oh, you still haven't left yet? Have you been staying at the inn with your five kids all that time? We can't go out because we don't have the money. I don't even have anyone to take care of my daughters. Oh, dear. Come and pick us up. Huh? I'm in Tokyo. Whatever it is, come on over here. I have no business in Kyoto. I don't have to go. Of course you do. You have to take care of my girls so I can enjoy the sights. I didn't come all this way to babysit. You promised to babysit. How long are you going to keep talking crazy, you annoying old woman? Just get your butt over here. Huh? That's enough. Huh? I turned you down five, ten, no, twenty times, didn't I? How can you not understand? You're a grown woman. Childish people like you shouldn't have children. Childish? Shut up. I'm an adult. No, you are a child. Don't be so selfish and out of control. Think of the trouble you'll cause people. I'm not bothering you. Every day you keep insisting to take you to Kyoto. Don't keep bothering other people. Don't ask me, ask your relatives. I can't rely on you anymore? Huh? I was too selfish and self-serving. I looked down on you and called you an annoying old lady. No one can help me. You got what you deserved. I thought that kind Kennedy would take care of it. Yeah, well, I'm an annoying old woman and there's nothing I can do about it. Come and pick me up. I'm not going. Making other people take care of your own children? I don't have time for that. Don't be so cold. We get along, for God's sakes. Absolutely not. Even if not your relatives, you have a husband, right? Well, that guy is getting fed up with me. I even had to overcome all the obstacles today. Wow, such a childish person is the mother of five. You really are a helpless person, aren't you? Please, please help me. I can't depend on anyone else anymore. I'm not going to take up any of your precious time as a couple. You have to deal with your own failures. Okay. Bye. What? Is this how you treat a friend? Kennedy, please, help, come and get me. Please help me, please help me. Layla, who got stuck in Kyoto, contacted her relatives in Kyoto. Although they were able to help, this led them and family disowning her. It is rumored that they will soon be divorced. As for me, my husband and I both enjoyed sightseeing in Tokyo. I plan to thank my son later for giving us the tickets.